Hey, and thank you for joining us here at the Miracis USA YouTube channel. Uh, today I will be briefly showing a new feature that is added to version 7.5 of the Miracis BMS software. Go ahead and open up Spotter. Again, Spotter is the client software uh, used to access one site, multiple sites, hundreds of sites. Um, it gives you the ability to manage and access video, export video, uh, view alarms, all of that good stuff. So to give you a basic understanding of what storyboarding is, is basically similar to what a video editing software would do. It gives you the ability to take the start time of and end time of, of one camera, eight cameras, uh, that can be added as a single clip. If you're adding that as one clip, they'll be synchronized. And then, of course, you can keep adding after that. So, uh, for example, let's say uh, an event took place in a bar. Uh, number one, first thing you could do is grab video of the parking lot cameras of the vehicle pulling into the parking lot, uh, maybe a license plate that, that you caught. Uh, and then, of course, the guy exiting his vehicle Entering the bar, you get a nice facial shot of him entering the bar. Uh, as he enters the bar, it goes to an overview of the bar. You see him walk in, then of course you see the fight break out, and then him walk out back into the car and then leave. So basically, you're not getting all the information that you don't need. You're getting exactly the information that you do need that, that ties the, the person to the crime. So the neat part about this is instead of, uh, you know, sending a huge clip to somebody, let's say you've got a coworker that you want to review the video, and you want to send them just a, a way to access it instead of the entire clip, which could be rather large. Uh, we have which, which is uh, a file format called SPD or storyboard draft. So here we'll go ahead and open up a draft that I previously created, and then you can see how tiny that is and how easily it would be to email to another user. So this storyboard file, or storyboard draft.spd, this was created on another machine, and of course now I'm accessing it on this workstation. So just by double clicking, you notice it was only 2.7 kilobytes. So, so tiny, very easy to email. So now I've loaded this, this uh, storyboard file, and it's ready to roll. Um, to give you an example of kind of how that works, or the breakdown, here I've got all of my different cameras at different times, uh, all showing up in my storyboard from the, the draft that I just loaded. So if I wanted to go and edit that video, Let's say I wanted to adjust my start time and my end time of that camera. You'll notice at the bottom of the screen, you'll see in white this current storyboard uh, segment that I'm on. And of course, I can play that back and I can see, okay, this is pretty good. That's the video I want. It looks great. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Say I'm not going to edit it or adjust it. But if I did want to cut out some time, some extra frames, I can trim that file down and resave it as another database or draft file uh, to use later. So here, and uh, also the other thing too, is you can create a description. So if I wanted to change the description, you know, probably don't want to have his license plate on here, so we'll just go put some symbols on here. Anyway. So here you could uh, enter specific information for that clip that you might find helpful for, for the police officers. Um, when you're covering a pretty wide shot and you want them to pay attention to a specific item in the shot, uh, that becomes a very helpful tool and will actually show as, as subtitles basically in the shot. So you know, so you can you can go through and edit any clip that you've previously created uh, at any time, and then of course. If you wanted to add a clip at any time, very, very easily, you just grab it down here. Here we can actually clear out what was previously there. So say we wanted to add this camera, or even eight cameras, you could add it one single clip. 
and we can add, you'll notice these buttons uh, show up here. You can still create a bookmark. You can still just export that individual file. But if I also wanted to add this clip to the storyboard, of course, I still have the capability of doing that as well. And of course, if you have if you don't have video there, it'll give you a little warning here. It says, uh, "Sorry, buddy, you don't have any video here, so that's not really going to work out for you." Of course, this is a camera that was taken out for a, a trade show, so it gives you a nice little warning there and highlights it in red. Um, so that's kind of a, a quick example of how quick and easy it is to add a file or add video to the storyboard. So when we're done, we can preview this this uh, this whole video. And you'll notice here at the bottom, you'll see my my nice uh, notes here or descriptions. They show up kind of like you'd see in a subtitle in a movie. Um, and we can we can play that back. So by default when you launch this player, it's going to keep looping that video. And of course you can turn that feature off. And you can also turn on and off the storyboard subtitles just by turning that button on and off. So we can go ahead and play this back. The really nice part about this is this is still spotter that you're you're using to play back the video. So your digital zoom can still be utilized. You want to get close in on a license plate or if you want to zoom in on a face so we can see right when he's looking right at the camera right at the perfect time. And then, of course, right back out. So what's going to happen is the video is sequentially playing back the video that I added to Storyboard, giving you the exact information that, uh, that's valid to the event. So here we're getting great detail, great shots on, on multiple cameras. You'll notice that we went from a Samsung camera in the front to a Axis PTZ, to a Sony camera catching his face, to a Hike Vision camera covering the overview, to a Goiterbrook key cam covering the hallway. Here we got the notes still appearing there at the bottom of the shot, to a Goiterbrook camera out in the shop. And we give, uh, we give him a hard time for this because he kind of looks like he's thinking about the meaning of life out there in the shop. <laughs> and then of course right back out to the to the back from the bathroom, down the hall, back to the overview. So you notice I've used the same cameras multiple times in different areas, uh, covering different parts of the of the video. And now up the stairs. Again, digital zoom on this Bosch 5000 uh, puck camera. And the eagle has landed. He's uh, going to grab a water and then right back into the office. Get some work done. So, extremely powerful tool. We're really excited about this feature. Uh, just because it's something that makes handing off footage and evidence seamless for the for the operator or, or the police officer to take advantage of video, uh, seeing exactly what took place in the event and only accessing and have access to the vital information instead of all the waste of size and space. Uh, this really creates a nice result for uh, for evidence. So this is storyboarding. Mirasys version 7.5 will be available, along with some other really neat features which we'll show in later videos. Thank you for joining and have a wonderful day.